This is eight 501 First Battle Packs, and I'm gonna turn them into an epic ATOT walker. Let's go. This build uses a lot of interesting techniques, but if you're up for the challenge, you can get instructions by clicking the Patreon link in the description or for free on July 26 here on YouTube. So there's actually a lot of leftover parts. Be sure to leave a comment to let me know your ideas for what side builds I should make from them. Okay, this thing is massive. Eight 500 first battle packs get you a ton of parts and of course minifigs too. That's 24 regular clones, eight jet troopers, and 16 battle droids. And don't worry, you can fit them all on the ATOT, even the battle droids. Make sure you watch to the end of the video to see how all these clone troopers are gonna fit in here. For now though, let's start at the front. Just look at that roof. Smoother than Mace Windu's head. And those hatches actually open up so you can fit the pilot in. He's got the controls right there to take the reins of this beast. But a beast is only as strong as its legs. Thankfully, I think these legs are pretty strong, unlike my ATTE. They're fixed in place by two joints to look angled and aggressive even though they don't actually move. The feet do move though, this beast can do some tricks. But it's not all tricks. This walker is pretty straightforward when it comes to the weapons. Two dual heavy blasters, four ball turrets at the rear, and if you want some more firepower, three more blaster turrets can be added on the front and sides. Sometimes you just have to accessorize, right? Finally, there's two smoke slash mortar launchers at both the front and the rear to cover the troops as they disembark down the rear ramp. So now we've made it to the parts you probably all came for. Just how many minifigures can fit in this behemoth of a machine? You can definitely fit all 32 minifigures that are included in these 8 sets on the walker. There's two levels of seats that are covered by the sides of the walker, plus more seating on the edges. The lowest seats have blaster storage, while the troopers in the middle level can hold their blasters. I like to save the most exposed seats on the edges for the jet troopers so they can fly to better cover in case of an ambush. And certain seats also allow clones to aim and shoot from the walker. Now to really push the limits, I tried some different combinations of sitting and standing troopers. The result was 45 minifigures, including the pilot. It's definitely cramped, but it would work if you need it to. By the way, I keep this middle section clear because it's the best place to pick up the walker. Otherwise, this build is sturdy, I just wouldn't put too much pressure on the front legs, but it will definitely hold its own weight just fine. Now in conclusion, this is definitely a step up from my ATTE, which is a big thing that I wanted to achieve. This ATOT makes a great way to haul your 501st army around, and I'm planning to make a few side builds from the leftover parts to complement it as well. If you want to buy the sets to build this, Amazon is great since they're normally 20% off there. You can use my affiliate link in the description as a super easy way to support my channel. And as I said earlier, instructions are available now on Patreon or July 26th for free here on YouTube. Now I'm going to leave you with some more shots of the build. As always, I really appreciate a press of the like and subscribe button, and I hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you next time.